Well, you know, the goal going into this game was to play a complete game, uh, start fast, finish. And I think we probably did that as well as we've done all year. So the players were focused, and we had three straight scoring drives uh, right off the bat. First play against the defense, we uh, didn't execute exactly right, and they made a big play, but we got to stop. And um, very pleased with the fact that we got to play a lot of players, uh, almost played a whole quarter and a half of uh, a lot of different players. Uh, and maybe there were a few more we wish you, we, we could have played as well. Um, but overall, pretty pleased uh, with the way we played. It was the plan to play Blake some in the second quarter, regardless of how it was going in the game, uh, for his development as a quarterback uh, that may have to play at some point in time down the road. So, um, and you know, he did some good things when he was in there. I thought Jalen played well. Um, you know, the only injury that we really have probably is uh, Damian Harris has an ankle sprain. Uh, he'll be day to day. Uh, I don't know what his status will be. Uh, our Darius Stewart will probably start doing some work this week. Uh, it's still questionable as to whether He'll be ready for this game this week, and Robert Foster probably will be questionable as well. So um, that's basically the injury report. I know we had a couple other guys come out of the game, but they all went back in the game and really didn't have a problem. Sorry, Just wondering, were you pleased with the execution in terms of how clean you played, limited the penalties and stuff like that? Yeah, it was better, much better. Uh, it's been what we've been trying to emphasize, and I think we only had one false start today, which was – you know, monumental. Um, but I thought we did a nice job of controlling the line of scrimmage, had, you know, good balance on offense, and did a pretty good job of executing overall. Come back over here with Michael. I just wanted to ask first about the uh, shifting some guys uh, at, at guard with Shank uh, and Lister Cotton coming in. And also, did uh, the Mac Wilson touchdown pass, was that something? Uh, you guys have been drawing up for him as a linebacker? Well, Mac, Mac Wilson's been playing in goal line and short yardage all season in that formation. So uh, that's his position. That's what he plays. This was not really a play necessarily for him, but it was for whoever was in that position to complement the other things that we did. And, you know, he made a nice catch, and I'm happy that he was able to score a touchdown. Also happy that he got to play a significant amount on defense as well, uh, which will certainly help his development. Yeah, with uh, Damian going out, we got to see Joshua Jacobs in an extended role. How did he play, in your opinion? He did a nice job today. Um, B.J. Emmons got to play a little bit more. You know, would have played Bo a little bit more, but got a little banged up. And he could have gone back in and played, but we just left him out. Uh, he's got a just got a thigh bruise and could have gone back in the game, but uh, would have liked to have played him more as well. So uh, those three guys will um, be the guys that, you know, have to get the – the reps if Damien's unable to go, and uh, they've all played a significant amount, and I think they can do a good job for us. Coach, what did you see from uh, Zavian on punt return, and is that a role that you think he's going to stay in, or is it? Well, we've been wanting to give him an opportunity to get back there, but um, you know, he let two balls hit the ground that gave them a lot of field position, um, so probably about 50 yards worth. So I, I know he had a punt return for a touchdown. He's a very explosive guy, um, but he's got to make good judgments and good choices and decisions because possession of the ball is the most important thing. And I thought he did a good job back there, except for uh, getting a couple balls fielded. So, um, you know, we, we need more guys to be able to uh, play on these teams uh, so that we can um, not have to play um, guys that are starters, especially if they can make a significant contribution. And uh, we think he's a guy that might be able to do that as a returner. And I think it was good experience for him today. A couple more in the back with Scott. Hey, Nick, I was wondering what you look for in a game like this in comparison to a scrimmage for player development. What do you look for in a game specifically, you know, beyond just a long run? Well, what I, what I was looking for today was for our team to play a complete game. Uh, that was the goal. I don't think we've played one all year long. Um, whether we started poorly in the Southern Cal game or I wasn't really pleased with uh, the Western Kentucky performance. Um, last week, we're 
you know, get behind 24 to three and then go on a 45, six run. I mean, you gotta be more consistent. So that was the goal for today. Um, incomplete can be a habit and complete can be a habit. So uh, we'd like to have it, develop the habit of being a complete team that can go out there and play down in and down out with some kind of consistency and not make mental errors that are going to contribute to the other team and make them beat you physically. And that was the goal that we had today and for whoever played. Um, so, and I, I think uh, for the most part, we got that done. Coach, if you would, talk about Cam Sims' performance today. Cam Sims did a nice job. He's finally healthy and um, getting an opportunity now with some guys out. We've always had a lot of confidence in Cam. Uh, he made a great catch. Uh, it was a good throw by the quarterback, the back shoulder throw against bump and run. Um, and, you know, Cam's a big guy that's got great hands and great range uh, as, as a ball catcher and certainly somebody that we feel like can be very productive for us. So it was good to see him make some plays today, and I'm sure that will enhance his confidence in the future. Just curious, how important was it for the defense to get that shutout, especially after a few weeks ago, give up the late score? And well, I, you know, I, I think it's more important that we got a lot of guys to play. Uh, I don't think they would have scored or had an opportunity to score um, if we were to continue to play good players, um, some, I mean, our starters. But uh, it was really more important to me to get the other guys an opportunity to play and develop, and um, they'll have to learn from their mistakes. And... Uh, they also can gain confidence from some of the things that they did well. So that was the most important thing, in my opinion, today. And uh, it was good to get a shutout. I know that all the players were happy about that. But uh, it's one game, and uh, we need to play at a, a little more consistent standard because it was not something uh, that was all that good a week ago in terms of how we played. Last one, With our Darius Stewart out, did the passing game work out the way you wanted, or was it – not at the level you expected. I'm sorry? With the, our Darius Stewart out, the passing game, was it where you wanted it to be still? Well, I thought that, you know, we got O.J. Howard involved, you know, a little more today. He made a couple of explosive plays, and, um, you know, that's what we need to do. And um, I, I thought that we threw the ball effectively. I think our pass protection needs to continue to improve. Sometimes we got pressure in the pocket that, We'd uh, rather not be getting so the quarterback can throw the ball on time. Um, I think it's something that we need to continue to work on to improve. But uh, I was pleased with the job that uh, the guys that played today did at receiver. And I thought the quarterbacks did a pretty good job as well. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.